guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Very special thing going on right now. It is now 12, 20-ish uh, in the morning. Uh, I haven't slept in two days. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't slept in two days. Um, I'm gonna be painting a picture for my grandmother. Today is her 83rd birthday. I don't know what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna try to keep it uh, dry because this is a uh, cardboard. So I don't want to get it too wet. I'm going to try to do this within an, an, an one hour. When I say I'm going to kind of, kind of keep it dry, I'm going to use dry medium materials. So chalk, maybe a marker. That's not really dry. Anyways, I'm only going to try to keep it to where we take care of the cardboard because cardboard is cheap and I'm a broke, starving artist. <laughs> Feed me. In the eye, For only 25 cents a day. Uh, so basically, uh, we're going to try to do this in an hour. You know, who knows what will be in this picture. But I don't know. Let's go for it. Oh. By the way, hey, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already um, uh, for more videos like this. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen my promo for summer video, definitely go check that out. It should be somewhere over here on the right side of the screen. Uh, if you have the screen really, really wide, it should be somewhere down here. All right, let's go. Okay. I have lived to see... Uh a whole world system just changed. People have changed. There's no more love in this world. I mean, people don't love like they used to. The families are falling apart. Um, our system is falling apart because man is now dependent upon themselves and not God. There's a poem, a prayer that uh, my Sunday school teacher had given me in 2004, and I still um, repeat that. And I've been doing that off and on, but here lately I have been there doing it practically every night. You have to learn how to forgive and just go on and don't walk around with all that meanness and bitterness and hatred and strife inside of you. There was division between Abraham and his wife and he was impatient. He wanted to have a child. Sarah thought she was too old. So Hagar had a child for him, and then it caused the confusion in their family. And it's just all through the Bible, we're just like, history's repeating itself. Father, <clears throat> I thank you, I praise you, and I worship you, because it is written, Great is thy faithfulness to watch over your word. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over our families. We boldly declare the grace of God and the peace of God and the blessing of Abraham is multiplied to our families by the knowledge of God. Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against our families shall prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment against us, we bind and we render powerless. For this is the heritage of our righteousness of the Lord. Father, we loose the holy angels to go and encamp around about our families and keep us and protect us from all evil. Hearken to this voice of his word. Father, I thank you and praise you for your covering and protection over our families. I believe it, I receive it as done in the name of Jesus. The anointed one, his burden, removing yoke, destroying the Holy Ghost, anointing that lives mighty in us causing us to prosper in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And the reason why this is so touching to me, because I really, I have seen many, many blessings that happen in our family, from car wrecks and a lot of things that have happened. I've had a daughter that had a car wreck, and it's like God had just picked that car up and turn around and started the other direction, although the car was totaled out. I was in the car wreck. I actually literally just died in there and went to heaven. I saw heaven. And when I saw it, it was like, it was just beautiful. It was all gold. The streets was gold. Everything was just beautiful. And then it's like I was talking to God. And then all of a sudden, I start coming out. And then when I came out, my face was in the mirror, and I saw how I had this blood running all down my face. And I said, oh, God, I said, what has happened? 
And I looked back and I saw Anthony in the back of the car and his nose was bleeding. And I looked over on the right side, on the left side, and Felicia was in the back, but she couldn't move. Come to find out, I don't know. I know it had to be an angel that pulled us out of there because I wrapped around that pole. The car was just really messed up. But I said, God, how am I going to get out of here? And it's like he said, there is a way. And I said, okay. So I crawled over under the steering wheel and I went and somebody pulled us out. I was coming out. I think I was hanging out a little bit, but then somebody just came and pulled us, me out and pulled him out also. But we never could find that man. And they said it was the Indian, but he was never seen again. It was an angel that God had sent to bring us out of that car. Me reading this and praying this gave me the thought that reading this, and I know God is our protector, that he has been, he watches over all our families all over this world. I know we're having trials, we're having all kinds of chaos going on, we're living in palaces this time, we just got so much going on now. Uh, people killing each other, or it's like, it's wars and rumors of wars, and they, people think it's all because it's overseas, but we're having those wars right around us. How people shooting and killing policemen and policemen killing people and people walking in killing their parents. It's just sad, you know, that we're not living in peaceful days. And our government is out of control. It really is, but God is in control, so he knows everything that's going on. These are the things, you know, to live to see all this, you know, happen. And God still is not ready for me yet. And I'm still seeing a lot of blessings, graduate students, you know, to see another grandchild graduate from one of the elite schools in Oklahoma City that didn't even want a black person even in the city, in that town, in that community. I have a granddaughter that's getting ready to graduate from that, that uh, university. And she <clears throat> herself went through a lot. She had to learn how to, she grew up, she had to learn how to grow up real fast and be a woman. And she stuck with it. I know she had some rough days, and it's been hard. It's hard going to college, I know, from my, my experience. But she kept the faith. And she trusted in God and he's brought her this far. And I'm praying that she'll be able to get into a graduate school and get her PhD. Because she de deserves it. And anyone deserves that education if that's their pursuit, if that's what they want to do. Everyone is not college material. But you do have a gift. Every, every person have a gift. And we should all try to do what God wants us to do on this earth. Okay, woo! If you watch this whole thing, you're uh, a trooper. Thank you so much for watching, I'm done. Uh, I absolutely, when I, the thing I love about art is that you don't know what to expect, especially in moments like this where you get a, you get, you, you, you pick a place to work on and you just go for it, you know what I'm saying? And it's all just trial and error the whole entire time, but that's the love and that's the passion of it. So I'm very ecstatic about this piece. Uh, so I'm just pleased, I'm happy. I uh, hope uh, that my grandmother loves it. I uh, hope you guys love it as well. I don't know. It just this is basically a testament to my to my great grandmother. Uh, she uh, is a fighter. Uh, has been on this earth for 83 years. So you can imagine the amount of life that she's lived, uh, the amount of influence that she has had. Uh, she's a godly woman, and so that has had an influence on all of us in our family. And so um, you know, I just hope she feels appreciated and loved and uh, cared for and. Uh, she is absolutely one of the most amazing uh, souls you will ever run into uh, if you're blessed enough, if you're lucky enough. So uh, if you just happen to see my grandmother walking around, uh, look for that face. <laughs> uh, but wish her a happy birthday. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, come back to my YouTube channel. Definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Absolutely share. Y'all have a blessed one. Thank you so much. I'm going to bed. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. I got to work. But hey. It's the passion, man. It keeps you going. Have a good night. Peace.